again! I'm back after being away for five days and I am dying to play with paint. This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas and that is Prism Pour. And the color is Orchid, I believe. Although I don't see it. I know it's there. There we go! Hot Orchid. And uh, I've been looking forward to using this for a while. This is what the mixture I've made up looks like. And it is one, let's see, it's two parts my pouring mixture, which is Flow Troll and GAC 800, and one part of the Prism Pour, because it looked really intensely saturated and really, really thick. So, let me make sure everything's copacetic up here. Yeah, it is. And that's my shovel, and my little dish that I'm going to put some paint in, and a couple of scoops, one made out of like probably a Sharpie cover or some similar pen case. And I'm going to use that as my shovel rest, maybe, probably. And put these things down here and fill her up. I've got Anita's White Pearl for the, for the basic reason that it's inexpensive and I like pearl. And I need a base. I need a, some body on the bottom of this. And I could probably put anything else down there I wanted to and put other colors over. So I don't know. This is from a long time ago and it's been kicking around. It's it's a nice lilac color, but um, it doesn't get used as much as a few other things. Now I want my metallic turquoise, which probably started out as a Master's Touch Hobby Lobby turquoisey blue color, which I don't think has a specific name on it, actually. And then I added iridescent pearl fine from Golden to it. This is an Anita's Island Blue, which used to be referred to as Bahama Blue. So when you hear me refer to things as Bahama Blue, it's not! It's Island Blue. This is a green gold color shift from Folk Art. And I am planning on just playing with these colors with my shovel and my scoop and just adding patterns straight across in the simplest way I can possibly manage, which may or may not ring true for everyone, but I'll give it my shot, my best shot. I just added another dose of Iridescent Pearl Fine from Golden to this orange, which was, I believe, a Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby to begin with. This is a cobalt blue and I can't remember who made it, but I am pretty darn sure that I added some iridescent pearl fine to it. And I'm going to float the orchid on the top after I use... That is my Venetian blue. Did I use that and not say so? That's possible. It's not impossible. Those two colors are really the same, are very similar, and that is the Venetian blue from Masters, Modern Masters. I keep saying Modern Masters. Maybe Hobby Lobby brand is Masters Touch. I think so. Okay, well this has Anita's White Pearl in it or Sargent's Pearl. Either one of them might be referred to as metallic. And I'm going to dose myself with a little 24 karat gold from Decor at Americana because I finally found some and bought four jars of it and I'm hoping it'll last a little while. I'm really... I wasn't thinking about... I was thinking about putting black acrylic enamel from Folk Art in there to make cells, and I think I'm still going to do that. I've never tried to float this stuff. This is my first time using it. I did a little sample piece on the back side of a canvas to see what the, uh, the color saturation would be, because there's actually more pouring medium mixed in this than I would usually mix. I like to go half and half, and then if it'll handle it... Now what am I going to do? I'm going to put some of this in here, right? And I brought the yellow out and put it away, and I'm going to bring it back again. Maybe I'm going to grab a different yellow. Oh, no, I can get something out of there. Good. And more of that orange is going to make me happy, I can tell you now. And I try and avoid this orange every time, but I like these two together. And I call this Velveeta because I added yellow to, to the orange from Hobby Lobby brand. and. Uh, and made that lighter color. I want red or magenta. I think some red. I wasn't sure I was going to put any red in there. But I think I'm going to have some. Now, do I want some more of that white metallic or do I want regular white? I think I'm going to indulge myself. I've got almost no purple in there that I can see. All pink and blue. Yep, the white helps. Well, I'll decide after I start what I'm going to do. And do I have enough color in there? That's the question. Um, what else do I want to put in there? I have some emerald green from, from Folk Art that uh, is color shifting, and it used to be called 
uh, minty green and they changed the name on me so same story as before I'm gonna put some more of that orchid in no I'm gonna put some some dioxazine purple in because I like the dark I like the drama I seem to be squeezing out what I want to see the most of every time I add a new color. So I better just start. Sometimes it's best to just start. Now let's grab and scrape off the bottom. And I'd usually raise it up, but this time I'm going to let it flow over the edge. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to put that out of the way for the moment. Switch my container so I get a different batch of color. Start at a new place. I try not to mind if I get gaps because I like them sometimes. Once you get to the edge, you can let a little pool a little wave of paint go and it'll go right down over the side. I am seeing that I would like a lot more yellow than I have. So I'm going to fix that right now by putting a bunch more yellow in there. And that will also change up the pattern. And if you feel like the paint is slowing down, then slow your shovel down and it will deposit. It's been a while. I hope this works out. No, I'm not minding that, that's cool. I also like the white in there a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have some more. It looks like my turntable is on level, or maybe it's my Wow, I just want to go, I just had this inclination to go sideways. I wonder if I should do that. <laughs> okay, well, wondering's over. You can always dribble out of the corner of a shovel. Yes, if I want to do it again, I'm going to have to do it shorter and longer. Right over the side, grab some more paint. So I change the pattern by changing the location of where I'm dropping my paint. I wasn't expecting to change my direction. Or try and fix anything right now. But I seem to be doing both. That's not bothering me. I think I left myself enough down, enough room down here to do what I need to do. Got some great patterns and some very shimmery colors coming out of that shovel. And I am going to try and torch. Not that I've done a whole lot of paint agitating, but every time I dip the shovel in my little container, it sort of does that anyway. Let's grab a little bit of this, put it right up there. I think I have the right amount of paint, which makes me happy. And I haven't allowed my yellow to turn green yet, which is okay with me too. Come on, come out. No matter how many times I do this, I learn something new every time. Just let the shovel dribble out. Paint will flow to paint. It's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. I am going to learn to put a little card or something up against the edge of the shovel so I can paint flow to the front evenly. You see I have a rather large gap down there and I'm going to do something about that right now I think. Taking my little 
Although I could just dribble it, couldn't I? Yeah, I don't need the... Let's just do that. Let's dribble. Sometimes less mixing is better. Less muddy. And then I will just take that. It seems to be not helping me with my level list, my level issue. Just stick a skewer right in here. Give a little tiny pull. Very little. So that's pretty quick. fix something. I've got my skewer to help me out. I could go through and put colors in between and that might be really neat. And since I'm here <laughs> and I have this color in my hand and I really want to experiment with it anyway, why not go ahead and do that? question is do I want the same color and I probably don't. So I'm going to grab that orange, if I can see it, yes. Do something very similar with that. I don't mind if the colors sort of meld with each other. I could do some black, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. I could also do some white. I kind of like the idea of putting some right along this bottom edge because that might pull the paint right over and that would be okay too. Give me an edge color right there. Just stick my thumb in it to encourage it. Alright, so am I done with that color? I'm really not. What else? Where else? I like the turquoise. I think the turquoise is calling me. I might have been better off with the white spaces, to tell you the truth, <laughs> is what I'm thinking, but I love a good experiment, so I'm not really complaining yet. Yep, I just saw that big flow troll thingy and I'm really happy it didn't turn out worse than that. I really could stick a skewer in and just roll things if I want to. Because I like I said I love experimenting. It's just I might make a mess and be unhappy about it. Let's hope I'm not. I don't usually try and drag my skewer quite like this, but that's okay because there's a first time for everything. Got to do it first before you can decide you don't want to do it again. I kind of like the idea of finding a way to fill in because I didn't put a background color down. And paint will flow spread out as you leave it. That's that's not bad. That's I'm still not unhappy. But now I think I've figured out what I'm being called to to go in between. Is that a shimmer quite nicely? I'm thinking blue. I've got some beautiful cells and I didn't do what I said I was going to do, which was a torch. If I have a nice bead of paint, I can pretty much move that toward the void paint area and have it work out pretty nicely. And I'm liking this a lot. A lot, a lot. And I think I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing and adding a color when I hear my muse tell me. 
she's inspired. I kind of want some yellow in there, and I think it's okay to do that. My tip is a little tiny bit plugged, which is the perfect time for a tiny little bead. Yeah, I like the yellow. That's calling me right there. If I go slow, I'll get a fatter bead. And I'm liking that. That's all right. Oops. <laughs> I had paint on my stick. Well, it'll just blend that, that much better. Might have to touch up the edges tomorrow. The nice thing about all the paint colors being varied like they are is that as I fill in my gaps, it does not matter if I have a little paint on my stick. Oh, I've got zero minutes left, so I should tell you guys. I do sell my artwork, and my email address is below the link tree, which is directly under the video, and it has all kinds of links on it, including my website. Sachi Art, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for, is for students. It's a Facebook group. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is where I put my merch when I have it. And it will lead you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com. If I've got it in the shovel, I might as well use it, right? I can't see any reason not to. I could go sideways. But I think I want to put some of this blue in here. I'm being called to. Yep, that's that's exactly it. Cool. So I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. I want to say thank you to everyone who leaves me a wonderful comment. You cheer me up endlessly. I don't have. I have 90,000 plus subscribers going on 91,000, but not everybody watches all at, all at once. But uh, as I figure out more and more and more things for beginners. That may improve. I just want to find really colorful, simple things that everybody can do that sort of have impact, make a punch. So I have two books, and they're on the Amazon link. When you shop at the Amazon link, you help me out eventually to buy art supplies, if I'm fortunate. And uh, my two books are called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And there's all kinds of other stuff on that Amazon link that I have on lists, such as my OXO omelet turning spatulas. Wait, I've got one. Best paint spreading tool around, bar none, I promise you. I discovered them, and everybody else has discovered them too. Now, after I did, so you're welcome. <laughs> uh, so Princeton Archel Catalyst spatulas are also really handy. My go-to is num number five and number one. I've got three number ones, but there's others like the number four with the diagonal. Anyway, so I'm really surprised that I filled in as much of the white as I did, and I didn't mind the white, and the white would have been okay. I'm taking that dot out of there. And I haven't torched, and I need to. When that timer goes off, I'm going to be gone pretty quick. So I want to tell you there is a monthly drawing, and you can see the prizes for that drawing and the exhibition video that's included on the end screen of every video. Or you can check my playlist for exhibition videos because there are quite a few of them now. And slideshows. I've got a lot of slideshows. I just put a slideshow up for all of the thumbnails from my YouTube videos from 2018. And I can't remember if there was one a day, but there were quite a few. So I love you guys. I hope you come again. Check my playlists for over 1,600 videos. I think if I find that paint color that I obviously hit on myself, why would I do that? Uh, <laughs> I want to put something down there. There it is. Cool. And as much as I like it, the orange, I like this better. And I could probably pretty much just keep going through and adding colors where I want. Because I can. That is the name of my first book. So I'm not sure about that, that I just did. But it doesn't matter, because I can just mix it up a little bit. I'm pretty happy. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors. There's another Facebook group. 